Oh, I just picked up the bike from RMM uh, Motorcycles. Gonna ride it over, load it up at my parents' house, and head over, ride to Daytona. Stay along for the ride. I'm gonna review it. It's my first time actually on the Heritage. It's a 114, great pickup, great engine. It's got like 9,000 miles on it. It's a 21. I'm really excited to ride it. It's very Harley-like. It's very typical clunkiness of the of the shifting. You know the V-twin, the sound. Vibrations are not that bad, by the way. Not at all. Although it's uh, mounted to the frame, vibrations are not bad at all. four gallons and I was on reserve and it showed that I had another 45 uh, miles to go so I guess I had like one gallon in the tank and another four over here so it's a five gallon tank I think I thought it was a five and a half but whatever uh, just an update bike feels mushy it's not it's not tight the handling is not tight it's very not very but it is mushy it's like like riding an old Cadillac, you know, when you go on bumps, it's like that. And I think it's not about suspension rather than it's the, these beefy tires. The beefy tires, it gives it this kind of mushy, mushy feeling, mushy handling. It's a nice, comfortable, very Cadillac kind of feeling bike, like a Cadillac ride. It's very, very comfortable. Riding position is uh, very natural. The handlebars are pretty much straight up, straight right ahead of me. My uh, legs, my legs are stretched forward. It's uh, their forward control, so it's a very natural feeling. Just like my ST, probably, I would say very, the seat, the bike has 9,000 miles on it, so the seat is already broken in, and it's a stock seat very comfortable ride I'm used to riding with the backrest so I miss the backrest somewhat but it's got it's got a nice little bucket to it so it feels pretty good the the handling on it, it's a very light bike and it's got the 114 so handling on it is very nice very nimble I would say that uh, at highway speeds with the the windscreen with the windshield it's very prone to wind coming from other cars because pretty much it's very non-aerodynamic. The windshield is pretty much like a door slapped on on the forks. And so whenever there's wind from other trucks coming by, you, you get a wobble. I don't want to say it's not like the infamous uh, death wobble, but it's definitely a wobble that comes because of the fairing. You feel the fairing affecting the steering, the handlebars. So it's because it's a light bike and this fairing, so you do feel uh, the wind and, and gusts from the other cars coming by. But otherwise, it's a very nice, very comfortable bike. I mean, the other option is to ride without, without the windshield and then you get all the wind directly at you. So I think it's a good compromise having, having this great windshield. I think the bike looks amazing. Really, really classic, classic looking. As you see, forward, forward controls with uh, floorboards, exactly the same position I was seeking with my low rider at speed. Uh, it's all blacked out, pipes, it's a very quiet bike. I would definitely change the pipe on it, obviously. Storage is decent. It's not, not huge bags, but definitely, uh, I have enough room for what I needed for the like the one two day two day trip.
made it 250 miles about. All I can say is after 250 miles, they're just a, f the bike is beautiful. I would do very few things out of the box. Maybe add, not maybe add, crash uh, an engine guard with highway pegs. And I would change the seat just because I want a backrest. But otherwise, bike is perfect. Ready to tour long, long haul as well. It's a very comfortable bike. When you look at it, all of a sudden I realize how what a size, what a diff what a size difference between the two bikes. Look at the soft tail compared to a touring chassis. Look how smaller the bike looks. Look at this, look at the heritage. Okay, it's a small bike. And and look at the touring, look at the road glide. Well then we compare side by side, you realize this how how bigger the road glide is. I, I wait for someone to save I want to tell you something new You drove us both into a wall I drive away into the night And I, I contemplate for a while been for the last two days 500 miles on the bike on the 2021 heritage 114 all blacked out with the uh, what is it a windshield we'll call it the door the window over here the windscreen let me tell you what i think about it this is the 500 miles i did on this bike the last two days i found this bike to be really comfortable it's small it's nimble, it's light. Highway speeds, it does suffer a little bit from, uh, you know, this, this fairing. Uh, I told you during the video, you know, gusts and winds coming from different directions do affect, do affect uh, the handling, the handlebars, so yeah, you feel it. But otherwise, it, it carves, it goes straight. And it's really a, a nice, a nice bike. Power to weight ratio is really good on it. Long haul, I would actually do, I would do an engine guard with highway pegs so you can stretch your legs out a little bit further. Really a comfortable seating position with uh, the the floorboards. I would definitely put my uh, give myself a backrest because I like, I enjoy backrest. I got the, the bags are not huge, they're not really big, but they were sufficient for my two day trip. Plus, I uh, anchored, uh, I strapped a little bag on the back. If I compare it to my Lowrider ST, the Lowrider ST has better handling, 
here I said it was a little bit mushy and I maybe I did uh, maybe it's because of the 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 tires that are a little bit more fatty and they they give a little bit they're a little bit more bouncy so my SD handling is much is sharper than this razor sharp here it's a little bit I say mushy right but the seating seating position the handlebar is great the way it's supposed to no need to do any changes it's just set ready to go the only thing is a long haul i enjoy music so obviously there's no music here i have to have uh, something in your helmet or if you want to set up some kind of audio system with, you know they have these speakers that you would do even with the um, stock not even stage one the power is sufficient for this small small chassis it's a very quiet bike stock is quiet i would replace the pipe do maybe a two into one give it a little bit more uh, character the look of the bike is really really nice to me uh, when you say Harley Davidson if you give me a piece of paper and say draw Harley Davidson I would draw two things one would be a chopper and the second would be a bike that looks just like this I enjoyed it very much hope you enjoy this review appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up a like a share and if you're not subscribed to the channel do me a favor, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm Sandy, watching all